Um, I'm Andrew Cormack. I work as Chief Regulator Advisor for Just Technologies. Um, got involved in learning analytics through our work on the code of practice and how that tries to guide universities in how to use learning analytics in a way that's responsible. I think it has demonstrated the possibilities. Um, there's been a lot of work done on how you could use student data. I think possibly now we need to move from how you could use student data to how you can use student data. I think it, it's going to need to become operational. It's going to become a normal part of university and school. And we've even heard this morning about a preschool. But for it to become routine operation, it has to move away from being research and it has to change the, the mindset on how it's done and the style of approach to individuals, which means we need to build better protection for individuals into the routine processes and do things in a way that automatically protect them rather than relying on individuals saying, no, I don't want that to provide protection. Um, because if you end up offering every individual the choice to participate or not, then you lose value because you're using a smaller sample. You may well get a biased sample because there's self-selection going on. So, for example, if you're looking to use learning analytics to pick up people who are at risk of dropping out, if they're at risk of dropping out, the last thing that they're going to do is tick a box to say, yes, you can do learning analytics on this. That's not going to work. Um, but to do that, we need stronger, um, more consistent, I suppose, policies and approach to working out what is responsible use of learning analytics, what is responsible use of data, um, which is something we're struggling with in the whole field of learning analytics, big data, using data leftovers, data debris, data trails, whatever you call them. I don't think society has yet worked out what are the responsive ways of doing that. I think we have got some pretty good clues in the way European data protection law is developing. There are some good ideas in there that can be used to, um, to design acceptable processes, to take the um, responsibility onto the, the organisation that is processing the data rather than placing, as we have in the past, and as research does and should, putting much more responsibilities on individuals to say, do you want to participate in this particular project? Once it becomes operational, participation has to be safe enough that everybody can participate. I almost think we wouldn't be talking about it because it will just be how we do education. Um, and not just education. Again, we've heard some fascinating things this morning about using analytics to help people with the transitions. Um, so helping people before they come to university understand how, what's the best course of, further, of higher education for them, further education, whatever. Um, helping people towards the end of their time in university to work out where they want to be in the workplace. Um, even more of a challenge there because you're looking at data linkage across different organizations, which is for very good reasons um, suspect, but the benefits are such that if we can get it right, um, and we haven't yet, but by no means have we got it right yet, if we can, I think the benefits for individuals, for society are huge.